<laughs> Justin! What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Dr. Nina. And today is going to be a little bit more fun because y'all are going to get the insight into my life as an intermittent faster and a vegan. You're going to see a lot of the things that I incorporate into my day, including my workouts, how I'm preparing my food, right down to my snacks, and things that I didn't even know I did during my 108-pound weight loss and keeping it off during this 12 years that were actually intermittent fasting. So I'm going to show you the easy ways to implement it and any items I mentioned are going to be down below in the information section. You can find all links there. Make sure you thumbs up this video if you like it. Comment, share, and subscribe to this channel and also my vlog channel. Make sure that you come back on all Thursdays and some Sundays for video uploads and also be sure to turn on that notification bell so you know when and I, I upload. I up in my kitchen because today we're going to be talking about intermittent fasting, how I use it, how you can get started, definitely how it's fit into my 108 pound weight loss and also keeping it off for 12 years. I also want to show you guys how it works into my life now being a vegan. You can think about if it'll work for you or not. So that we're not confused on what intermittent fasting is and is not. It's an eating pattern that cycles periods of fasting with periods of eating. It's about when you should eat and less about what you should eat. So therefore it is not a diet, but an eating pattern. So first there's the 16-8 protocol, which is the most popular and easiest to maintain. I tend to stick with the 16-8. It's basically where you're eating for eight hours, but then you're fasting for 16 hours, including those hours that you're sleeping. Someone like me who starts to eat between 12 to 2 p.m. would stop eating between 8 to 10 p.m. The next one is the eat, stop, eat. This is where you stop eating for 24 hours, one or two times a week. So an example of that would be eating dinner one day, but then not eating again until dinner time the next day. And then there's the 5-2 method, which after research, I realized I kind of used during my 108 pound weight loss. So basically on two days that are not back to back in the week, you're only gonna eat about 500 to 600 calories, but then you're gonna pick back up with your normal eating for the other five days of the week. Let's talk about how you can get started even even if you don't want to use say one of these protocols you can start by just like skipping a meal every now and again or if you know that you're just eating for the sake of eating and you're not really hungry try not to eat for a while and see how it makes you feel test out the waters you want to do the things that work best for you but how do I use it how does your girl get down with that 16 8 it's a no-brainer it's easy it takes the least amount of planning I start off my day with exercise and movement and I do a fasted exercise so I make sure that I haven't really eaten anything before I exercise if I do it's going to be something that's nutrient based so I'm going to take like some amino acids or I might take in a little bit of nutrients with my juicing but for the most part I am fasting and definitely not having any solid foods so like I told you, if I'm having a particularly rough morning and I need a little bit of nutrient boost before my workout, I'll have just a little bit of my juice powders from Yay Organics, which barely have any calories, but have a lot of different benefits. They are all natural and free of preservatives and additives. All the items that they have over there are also very inexpensive, so I have a link to their site down below. One of my favorites is the baby spinach because it has plant-based protein and also it is rich in iron and vitamin B9 for muscle strength. The wheatgrass is packed with vitamins and and also helps with detoxifying the body. The coconut powder is full of fatty acids, which are great and also boosts your energy and gives you plenty of electrolytes. I even like adding this one to tea or coffee to boost my energy during the day. Delicious. So the good. sweet beet juice is great for anti-inflammatory properties, reducing premature aging, and also getting rid of toxins within the body. The ginger powder is just simply amazing for boosting immunity and digestive support within the body. I also love this one in my tea. The carrot powder is full of beta carotene and also antioxidants, and it also makes your skin feel and look amazing. So if I need a little boost before the gym, I add a little sweet beet powder with the ginger most times, and then I add that to about eight ounces of water. Let it mix real well in my Yay Organics juice blender bottle. I absolutely love this thing. Y'all know I rant and rave about it because it also charges my phone and it's super simple for me to take on the go. Check the information section for all the links so you can get yours today, but I'm also giving another one away. So check the information section on how you can win one. I start off the morning taking Bella for a walk. Hi, Bella. <laughs> The cool thing about these morning walks is they keep my mind off of food. Not only that, but you're burning calories first thing in the morning. So your body is already becoming accustomed to being active, burning calories, burning fat, and using um, your stored fat as energy. That is a big key to intermittent fasting. That 
it is around 8 30 anyways by nature i've already slept away most of the fast i naturally don't eat first thing in the morning i don't like working out on a full stomach this makes it simple so i am now in the gym with it weedy what it do i usually try to hit 500 to 600 calories burned i'm gonna get on the treadmill and run a good three to four miles um, maybe mix in some walking on incline and then i'm gonna come on over to the stair stepper i find it to be one of the most effective workouts and then i'll probably hit just a few free weights over there i'm on my mini summer break i'm able to get in just a little bit more you know what i'm saying listen to some jay Baldwin, willie william and beyonce <laughs> i'm at about three and a half miles now uh -oh. and that was an infusion of walking and running at a high pace hit training which burns maximum fat and calories look at the sweat girl look at it live it got it killed it boom how are you good i burned about 600 and 93 calories. That was also a part of my walk this morning before I came to the gym. With intermittent fasting, I know some of you all have had questions for me in the past. How do I keep from feeling dizzy when I exercise? Well, what I find out, first off, is you need to talk to your doctor. Secondly, understanding your body helps. If I know that I'm going for a longer workout, usually I will have some of my Yay Organics juice powder just a little bit to balance out my blood sugar, but I just find that just a little bit of nutrients do help. So that might be an option for you. I'm gonna show you guys what I'll prepare just so you can get an idea. Down below, I posted a lot of links for you guys to read more about intermittent fasting. Fasting is not for everybody. So make sure you check with your doctor before you change your eating regimens especially those of you all that have diabetes heart problems or those of you all who are pregnant so I break my fast between 12 to 2 p.m. depending on my day and then I end around 8 to 10 depending on my day the great thing about the 16 8 is that you can have coffee tea water or even a little bit of nutrients to curb your hunger or appetite before you break your fast I like to break my fast with straight nutrients so I start off with a little cashew milk and also vegan protein and wheatgrass vegetables and fruit and boom, I have all the nutrients that are really gonna boost my day in one glass. So about two hours in, I usually go for a little bento box. And I usually do a variation of this, but this has carrots, zucchini, sweet potato, snap peas, and also quinoa and tofu. I boil up the quinoa for about 15 minutes, and then I make sure I chop up all my vegetables into nice, small little squares. I like to lightly spray the pan with olive oil spray, and then I take a little bit of actual olive oil and pour that over top the vegetables and then just use sea salt and a little bit of ground pepper put them in the oven on 425 for about 25 to 30 minutes and then I'll go ahead and chop up that tofu get that all ready and browned with a little curry powder a little oregano or whatever other spices I'm in the mood for and then I brown up the snap peas just a little bit and then I'm ready to assemble my little bento box I layer in the quinoa and the veggies and then I go for the tofu and add in the snap peas and then I love to take my little sweet chili sauce and then I pour just a little bit over it put a little toasted sesame seeds and y'all this is so bomb I usually get hungry again about two hours later so this is my next meal now I'm gonna make my tempeh and black bean veggie roll up and I love this thing because tempeh is full of protein it's another thing that you can use almost like tofu or any other protein if you're not vegan I chop up the green and red pepper and onion and also chop up that tempeh really good and then I coat my skillet with just a little bit of olive oil allow those peppers and onions to brown and then throw in the tempeh with some low sodium all natural soy sauce and then I allow that to kind of cook down allow that to brown and allow it to take on that coating and color and then I take a little bit of time to brown my whole wheat tortilla on both sides from there I layer on the beans and then I add in that spinach and then I layer on that tempeh onion and green pepper and red 
black pepper mix and I roll it up. You can roll it up how you would like. I also add avocado to this sometimes. So as the night goes on, I get less and less hungry. So about an hour and a half later, when it's almost time to close my fast, I have something light. So I love making zucchini noodles and I have a spiralizer and I have this in my Amazon shop. Yes, I do. I love this thing because it has seven spirals on it. And I use the angel hair for my zucchini because it has continuous noodles. So then I dry those noodles out with paper towels and just make sure that they're nice and crisp and ready to saute for only about three minutes with just a little bit of olive oil. And then after I'm done sauteing them down, I make sure I put just a little bit of oregano, salt and pepper over them plate them real good and all I do is sprinkle just a little bit of lemon juice over them so almost like it gives it a little bit of a vinaigrette zest as y'all can see I'm still a lower carb vegan in nature I also love to have snacks in between so I love almond butter and apples a half a handful of all natural almonds I love roasted chickpeas with a little dark chocolate I love vegan friendly yogurt seaweed snacks gluten-free bites non-chips and hummus or the vegan sour cream and just so you guys know I get most of my snacks from Kroger, Whole Foods, or Trader Joe's. I also make sure that I take my vitamins during the eight hour period where I'm eating since most of the time vitamins require that you have some nutrients or food with them. I drink about a gallon of water a day because it really helps to curb my hunger and I start off in the morning before any solid food hits my mouth. I've already had about 48 to 64 ounces of water. And because I do train without eating solids, I make sure that I lift weights and take in a lot of protein in order to avoid muscle loss. The reason why intermittent fasting works is because you're eating during a period of time. The rest of the time your body is basically using fat that's stored for its energy source. You should be reducing your caloric intake naturally because you have a smaller eating window. A lot of research has already been done in this area. You know the professor love her some research. It reduces body weight, body fat, specifically belly fat, and it also increases metabolism. Intermittent fasting can really help with increasing that human growth hormone, which can help with that lean muscle gain and also an overall fat loss. By you eating in a certain window, your body becomes trained so your insulin levels drop, making it easier to use your fat storage as energy rather than sugars or carbs. Cells begin to repair in your body because they're getting rid of old junk and gene expression could become better leading to longer living and reduction of certain diseases within the body like type 2 diabetes, cancer, and heart disease. I know I love to do meal prep for you guys but you know I love to keep it simple and this is going to keep you out of the kitchen and living much more than you're spending time in the kitchen. So I hope you guys learned so much being with me today and I want to thank you for being here. At the end of the day this might not be the method for everybody Body, but what solution is what I feel I am a product of and what I do realize is that fasting can really do great things for your body and you can also try mixing and matching the different things you do but whatever you do make sure that you check with your doctor to make sure that it's safe for you comment share this video with someone who can use it and subscribe thanks so much for watching guys beautiful brown baby doll peace Thanks so much for all the love and support over on my new website. If you haven't already, go ahead and check it out and join me for new ways to interact with me, giveaways and prizes, weekly emails, as well as my free eight day supernatural video course, which is free when you sign up.